Hey everyone, it's Ryan here. Uh, but quickly, just the camera. Um, hey everyone, it's Ryan here. Oh, God, I'm listening to myself. Uh, so, this video is my 12 days of Christmas day 7 challenge is completed. Um, a couple of days behind with it. I did finish it last night. I also finished day 8 in roughly the same time. Um, mainly because it was a lot easier. So, day 7 was 7 achievements. Um, that were classed as missing, um, which was a nuisance to be honest with you. Um, so the seven achievements I've got, um, so my main games were Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 and Dead Rising 2, um, because luckily no one had actually, uh, well, it's the, sorry, the, the tag for it is missing, not that it doesn't have a guide. I was thinking of an earlier challenge. So basically, the way it classes as missable is if it's something campaign based and you don't do it within that story, that's what it classes as missable. Like, it's possible to do, but. Um, so with Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2, uh, it plays on the Civil War storyline, so you either choose pro registration or anti registration. And obviously, the missable one is the one that you don't choose. So I had done a playthrough of the pro one like two years ago, so I went back and did the anti one um so um yeah so i got i think it's defending our way of life or something um it's a bit too long so it says dots uh collateral damage and iron and blood they're essentially for completing the three acts of the anti registration um and then dev rising 2 um which i did a lot on the 360 i bought it on the xbox one a couple of years back and again it's one of those things i played it for a bit and then i just sort of like not like fell out of love with it, but it just started becoming a chore to play it. Um, so I got Father of the Month, um, which is for get, getting Katie, your daughter, a gift. Uh, Tape It or Die, which is for discovering the secret uh, the secret combination that you make. Because in Dead Rising 2, they introduce combo weapons. Um, Vigilante Justice, which is for defeating five psychopaths, because that's basically what happens in the Dead Rising series, apart from zombies, you do have psychopaths in there as well. And then Improper Behaviour, which is for spray tagging all the Zombrex posters. Zombrex is the... Basically, they come up with this vaccine, like a temporary vaccine thing. Like, you inject yourself with this serum that basically stops you from becoming a zombie for 24 hours. Um, but there's, like, posters for it. So you basically just have to spray them. Um... So yeah, uh, I had fun going back under Rising 2. I've kind of used that for Day 8. I've already completed Day 8 as well, because I'm going to do the video after this one, and I'll go into that later. Um, yeah, so the Day 8 is 8 walkthrough ready. So as with Day 4, where they didn't have guides, you have to basically find 8 achievements that do have guides, which, on true achievements, about 90% of achievements have guides to them, so it's not that difficult. But yeah, uh, that was day seven. Uh, thank you for watching this video, and I will be back very shortly with day eight. Um, not sure when to upload them though, but I'll probably upload them later. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching. I shall hopefully see you in the next one. All right, bye.